my name is Quackersaw. Welcome back to Deep Dives. These videos I'm going to be exploring mechanics changes, tags, meta strategies, and everything else that's coming to EU4 1.30. If you missed yesterday's episode, we went over France and the Low Countries region and interesting tags that you can play in that area with mission changes and easy to hard kind of starts. This episode we're going to be looking at Northern Germany. There's a lot of really cool things you can play in this area. We're going to be talking about starts that you should play if you are relatively new to the game and just want to wreck some faces and have a lot of fun. Starts that you should play if you're getting a little experience and you want to branch out to a different kind of play style. Things that you can do if you're pretty darn good in a game like Prussia is just going to be too easy for you. And then I, a start for if you are just an EU4 god yesterday's episode the god tag was nevers this episode the god tag is even harder and it is brand new and it has an achievement in this patch so if you want to support this video if you want to see more videos like this or you want to help out the channel i super appreciate it just uh drop a like on the video comment down below with what you'd like to see in videos like this other types of guides i've had a suggestion for achievement run guides I've had a suggestion for how to build my ideas for World Conquest kind of videos, that kind of thing. And they're all on the list, and I will try to make as many of those kinds of videos as people want to see. Anyways, um, if you are watching this video the day it comes out, in about an hour, I will be on twitch.tv slash quaggersall as part of the 1.30 EU4 Creator Coliseum. I'm playing Cologne, and we are one province away from forming Westphalia. We're about this big. So, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. We'll be playing today for five hours, and then that, combined with yesterday's session, will become videos on the channel in the near future. Anyways, let's jump in and see what we can do in northern Germany. First up, Prussia. So most people choose Brandenburg as their start if they're going to form Prussia. They've gotten their ideas changed in this patch a little bit. Um, I would say it's a slight nerf, although it is still very good and interesting, especially if you want to be the emperor uh, before forming Prussia and you want to form Prussia late. I don't know why you would want to do that, but that lets you go a different path. And this cost to fabricate is actually pretty cool now because the Empire now takes 30 base for most people uh, to make a claim and Brandenburg only has to do 26 But you probably won't care about that super much especially early game because uh, you've now got this massive mission tree That will allow you to get a lot of claims uh, Some of these are existing from before I believe this part was there before but now you can get stuff if you're able to get the P over Ansbach That'll give you some claims over there. You'll get to try to grab some provinces. And if you can, you'll be able to move into Saxony and down into these places. You even get a thing for uh, building the canal. That's super cool. Um, something to encourage people to make the the Kiel Canal is uh, is great. I never see the that get done. Um, but eventually you'll get this where it's just like, are you ready to form Germany? Okay, go form Germany. Germany itself has its own mission tree, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but Prussia is a very fun game, and there's a reason why people like to play it. And it's the reason why I would suggest it for a someone who is either relatively new at the game or just wants to wreck face. And that's because once you form Prussia, you're going to have one of the best idea groups in the game. So I cheated in a little Prussia here, uh, just to show you guys the ideas Prussian ideas are quite strong they've actually received a little bit of a nerf with the Junkers loyalty equilibrium thing here but we've got army tradition and army tradition decay which is going to be amazing generals basically aggressive expansion reduction infantry combat ability morale of armies manpower it's a lot of good stuff there are a few crappy ones on both ends although dev cost is better than it seems um, so Pretty nice idea group, and Prussia also has the ability to militarize. So you can spend military points to up your militarization, and you will eventually get things like, well, let's just show you. I'll do some 
there we get manpower recovery land maintenance modifier and discipline discipline is the key one you get this all the way up you also get uh better leaders under the prussians and as in more military points more likelihood that you're going to want to go for a discipline guide to stack that late game prussia can get really good armies going so if you're playing MP, almost everybody goes and tries to kill off Prussia or the tags that could make Prussia, split up the lands, make sure they don't happen because Prussia is a beast to try to fight later on. If you've been playing EU4 for a little while, want to try out a little bit different way of playing, Lubeck is an amazing start. So Lubeck is a republic. They start as basically the leader of the Hanseatic League. You've got several people in your trade league. You can expand it out further later. Um, especially with the new mission tree that will eventually see you forming the Hanseatic League right down here. They all become vassals and then you get united the League, which is pretty cool. My understanding is this actually makes everyone who is in your trade league a vassal, which is pretty darn good. Um, but it will be a little difficult. You're eventually going to want to also colonize with Lubeck, or if you do, they've got some missions for it as well. The Lubeck start is super interesting because you won't be very large in terms of province number, but you could get super rich. And like right now we're starting with 2.96 ducats in 1444 with the maintenance up. Okay, even with maintenance up, the fort on, which is a level 3 as well, making a whole ducat as one province minor, that's amazing. If you can, ha if you have a little bit of trouble keeping your trade up in Lubeck, you will actually get the ability to spawn an instant now with the Holy Roman Empire. And with this, you can actually form a massive trade league, bigger than you would have been able to normally, because they all get the request, even if they might not have joined otherwise. So you can uh, get some cool stuff going there. It is a little bit different, though. So if you haven't played too much E4, you should look into it. You're, you've got Republic mechanics. You've got uh, different ideas that you would want to do. Uh, Plutocratic is very good, and it's only accessible if you're a Republic. So look into that if you find that building interesting. The Hanseatic ideas are already here. Um, you don't change ideas when you form the Hansa tag. It's just a name change. There are a couple of those in this patch, like Kingdom of God and the Caliphate, if you're able to form that. Um, but it is super cool to have gotten to form it, and uh, they're super fun to play if you can pull it off. Now, if you're wanting to play in this region, um, and you want to go, maybe go for Prussia later, but you don't want to be Brandenburg of the Teutons, or maybe you want to form Germany, and you're looking for an interesting, challenging way you can do that, I suggest playing Saxony in this new patch. Now, if you remember them from before, you might be like, whoa, they're much smaller than they were before. Not really, because they start with a PU, and once they integrate all this, they're actually much stronger. Uh, you also have a very cool mission tree. It's a little small, but it's very powerful. Eventually leads you down into Silesia, up into Brandenburg. Um, I believe over into Franconia, up into like the Lundberg area, and all the way out to Munster. Oh wow, yeah, and it gets you over there as well. This is a very good mission tree. And the really cool thing about this mission tree is it encourages you to spread the Von Vetten dynasty and if you do you get a restoration of union on poland if you can get that union or any union you can become a as long as you keep them under 50 percent liberties are you can become a kingdom within the empire which is very rare and only bohemia has it and sometimes prussia in this patch uh, which is pretty cool and if you can get poland itself either by the union or killing it off um you'll get this Lord of Poland modifier is pretty good. You still have some of the generic mission tree stuff for being in the Empire, and you can decide which way you want to go. Get Prussia's mission tree, get Germany's mission tree, form the HRE. There's, It's really flexible with Saxony. They've got a mission or an achievement for getting all of the porcelain in the world. Uh, Chinaware, as it's referred to in the game. Uh, that one's difficult. I've got it long, long ago, but it's a fun campaign. And uh, I think Saxony is, is an underrated tag that a lot of people overlook. 
in this area and hopefully with the PU people will look at them more often now. Alright, so let's talk about the E4 God Start, the one that you will play if you think you're just really darn good at this game and nothing else is much of a challenge. And it's not Berg. I'm loaded up as Berg though because the tag that we're going to be talking about actually doesn't exist on the map in 1444. You have to release it to play it. So right here is a little tag called Lipe or, or Lippe. I'm not entirely certain how to say it. But if you release them, which we will do right now. Make sure you hit that button. Bam! We are now Lipe. So this is a little bit of a difficult start. Obviously, they are uh, one province minor, five development, don't have much going for them. And the achievement with Lipe, which was introduced in 1.30, is to own the entirety of the British Isles. The whole dang thing. So that's going to be a slog and a half. Basically what you're going to have to do is get somebody to support your independence. Try to eat one of these little guys around you. Get to the coast. Basically become the Netherlands. That's going to take you like 150 years just to get to that point. And then you're going to have a massive, really strong Great Britain to deal with. Even if he gets kicked off the continent, it's still going to be very tough. So there's not really much going for them. They've got an okay idea group with uh, mercenary maintenance and infantry combat ability at the beginning. Tech costs, nice. I like the relation to the Diplo rep. That'll help you stay alive. Um, money, money, uh, missionaries. That's not really useful up here, maybe. Depends on what you want to do with the Reformation. Prestige is not that good. They're okay. Um, this is just German ideas, I suppose. I should have noticed that. But uh, the one thing about the achievement is you're not allowed to switch tags. So the achievement indicates that you have to is Lipe. You can't, you can't, you can't form Westphalia, which I believe is in your, your mission tree. Yeah, you've got that stuff to do. You can't form Germany. You can't culture shift form Prussia. You can't culture shift and form the Netherlands. You can't even form Great Britain if you're halfway through eating the Isles or that kind of thing. You have to stay Lipe to get the achievement. So this one I think is going to be the one that very few people have out of this. Um, other hard achievements in this patch like everything's coming up mull house um and some of the the others here down here for getting uh, like switching tags any switch tags from Sealy is one but, but uh, i think those have a lot more tactical opportunities to pull them off this one it's almost it's almost a no-go it's going to take a really strong person to do this i would be very impressed if uh, somebody could post proof that they got this in Iron Man mode, got the achievement on my Discord. I, I think I'd have to give you some sort of role or something. But anyways, um, that's that's my pick for the hardest start in this area. I'd be interested if you guys have other ones you think are harder in, I uh, suppose, the region. Yeah, region of Northern Germany. I do not know why they keep Bohemia in there. We're going to be talking about Bohemia in tomorrow's episode. So those are my picks for the four best in this area. What do you guys think? Are there ones that I missed? One that I think I should mention is Pomerania. Uh, Walgost or Stettin you can take and reform Pomerania. There's also a way to release Ryugin and he can become a Pirate Republic. Or you could reduce yourself down to that and form the Pirate Republic. There's also Pirate Republic possibilities out here in Gotland. So that's fun. Um, there are a bunch of other places you could play in the area. Cologne into or Hesse into Westphalia. Brunswick into Hanover. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do. Let me know what you're going to play in this area in uh, 1.30 when it comes out. And uh, head on over to the Discord if you want to show off uh, pictures and uh, descriptions of your runs. It's always fun to do. And we play MP over there as well if you're interested. Leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to help out the video and help out the channel. I super appreciate it. Most importantly though, thanks for watching, especially all the way to the end. 
and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.